Hello, Internet. Are you ready for another History Foot episode about soda? No? Why are you even watching? Now, for those who are watching the documentary, welcome to the ninth soda documentary. Now, in the last episode, we celebrated the Big Overview's one-year anniversary. We learned my home state's Idaho's Grand Teton histories and reviewed their sodas. But then I was thinking, Idaho may be my home state, but California was where I was born. Granted, I only lived there until I was five, been living in Idaho for almost 15 years. California holds a place in my heart as I visited my family there many times, and again, I was born there. So why not review a soda from my birthplace? I introduce to you Nesbitt's Soda. Nesbitt's is a classic soda from California and has been around for almost 90 years. So what happened almost 90 years ago? Let's find out. The Nesbitt's Fruit Product Company was founded in 1924, named after its founder, Hugh S. Nesbitt. The Nesbitt's brand debuted in 1927, initially as part of the company's line of soda fountain products. Nesbitt's began bottling Nesbitt's Orange in either 1938 or 1939 putting it in direct competition with the well-known market leader at the time, Orange Crush. Nesbitt's was distinguished by the fact that it was made from 10% California orange juice. The brand was franchised to independent bottling companies all over the United States and around the world. Besides orange, other flavors bottled included cream soda, grape, strawberry, root beer, and a lemon-lime drink called Sprig. Nesbitt's became the U.S. market leader for orange soda pop during the late 1940s and 1950s, with advertisements featuring the then-unknown model Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe wasn't the only star known to like Nesbitt's. It was said that Elvis Presley loved Nesbitt's orange. He always had the weirdest eating habits I ever saw, a friend quoted. Burnt bacon, olives, vegetable soup, and peanut butter and banana sandwiches. He then washed it all down with Pepsi or Nesbitt's Orange. Nesbitt's proclaimed it was the largest selling bottle of orange drink in the world. Sadly, in 1943, Mr. Nesbitt died suddenly at the 1943 NACB confrontation in St. Louis, unable to see the golden years of his soda. Nesbitt's Orange got big as it was the official orange drink of Disneyland from the time it opened in 1955 into the 1960s. It was the only orange drink sold in the park. Nesbitt's was also a sponsor for an early television show in Los Angeles called Ricky and the Magic Trolley, a puppet show that was done in 1952 through 1953. In 1957, the Nesbitt's Orange Special Dragster set one-fourth speed record of 9.445 seconds, or 159.02 miles per hour. It is believed that this was the first commercially sponsored dragster. Nesbitt seemed to be on top of the world until the 1960s. Nesbitt's own brand of orange beverage was surpassed in popularity by Fanta, and sadly faded in popularity. In 1972, the company was sold to the Clorox Company, and in April of 1975, the bottling operations was sold to Moxie Industries Incorporated, the now Monarch Beverage Company of Atlanta. Nesbitt's continued to be owned by Moxie Industries through the late 1970s and the 1980s, while use of the Nesbitt's brand non-bottling usage was passed along several companies from 1976 through 1998, including ownership by Borden Incorporated in the late 1980s. In 1999, Big Red bought Nesbitt's trademark from the Monarch Beverage Company. Although Big Red only actively promotes Nesbitt's California Honey Lemonade product, it licenses the brand to several small independent bottling companies. Speaking of Nesbitt's Honey Lemonade, Patrick from Soda Tasting on YouTube decided to review this new drink from Nesbitt. Appreciation. I'm Patrick O'Keefe. The soda that we have today is Nesbitt's Honey Lemonade. Not a strong smell. Uh, you pick up just a little bit of lemon. It's a really interesting flavor because the honey does come out as does the lemonade, so you really taste and can make out both of the flavors.
Yeah, um, you know, like I said, both of the flavors are really very pronounced, and you can make it out. It's not like, um, you know, other kind of mixed variety flavors where maybe one strongly overpowers the other, where you can't even make it out, and all you taste is that one thing, like all you taste is lemon. Um, that's definitely not the case here. Um, you definitely taste the honey and you taste the lemonade. And the lemonade is, it's, it's a nice tart lemon flavor. Um, I almost would like to see what the lemon would taste like without the honey added in. Um, of course, then it wouldn't be honey lemonade. So I think that I'm going to give this soda a rating of 3 out of 5. Uh, kinda Patrick overall seemed to enjoy the rather unique soda drink from Nesbitt. Now let's see what me, Tim, and Steven have to say. So guys, this is what we are going to be trying. This is called... Nesbits, and this is the flavor they're known for, Nesbits Orange, but we also have other ones because they're known for fruit flavored sodas. Nesbits Peach and Nesbits Strawberry, they are from California. And look, an American classic. You guys ever heard of it? So nope. American classic. American, yes. So we're gonna try all three flavors, all of us. It's not we're not we're gonna we're gonna share all of them. So right. basically we're gonna try what they're mostly known for, Nesbits Orange. Hey okay, guys, so only four. So, um, let me, uh, that's a pretty good orange smell. It's just a pretty much like an any normal orange smell. So, here we go. Um, actually, Tim, I'm going to have you try it first, just a sip. It might lose some carbonation because of the ice, but just ignore that. Definitely better than the uh, Cascade Ice Orange Mango or whatever that we just tried recently. That's because I'm not aware of that. But in any case, um, it's definitely better as an orange soda. This isn't one of the quote-unquote healthy options, is it? No. Okay, so this is just a regular soda. Um, I, I feel like the ice we put in may have diluted it a little bit, so I'm going to try it straight from the bottom. It feels very, uh, it, it feels very creamy, almost too much. Uh, I, I think it leaves that sort of fizzy feeling on your tongue a little too much. I, I think ice is definitely needed when you drink a soda like this, so, uh, it's not bad, not great. Yeah. Well, it was rather fizzy, as Steven said. I didn't taste the cream that much, though. That, well, I drank it straight from the bottle. We all did. We all did. My hand is tamming me. Oh, okay. I didn't taste the cream as much. Um, it was there, but... I, 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 think, flavor, actually. I think fizz was the word I was <laughs> looking for. That. Um, yeah, so... There wasn't as much cream as Steven said, but it did taste um, better than the orange mango from Cascade Ice. And the orange flavor, it was a bit, it's hard to describe how, but it was different than most orange sodas. I think it was more natural. No, was I, not natural. More like, I feel as if it was more like, realistic, I guess. I'd like to say it feels like they actually used maybe real oranges instead of like a big orange flavor. I'm not sure, but it did taste different, and I'm not sure if it was more natural or more artificial. Um, I liked it. I thought it was an overall pretty good orange soda. Um, I, I felt like it tasted a bit more like a real orange than most orange sodas. I uh, have to say it's one of my favorite orange soda though. Um, I thought it was a, I think it's a decent soda. I'm gonna give it an, I'm gonna give this orange soda an 8 out of 10. Okay. I'll do a 7. 6. Wow. Okay guys, on to our next one. Strawberry. Strawberry soda. Let's see. I've never been partial to strawberry soda. I mean, strawberry lemonade is one of my favorite drinks in itself, but strawberry soda, for the most part, has over, always been over, overly sweet for me. So, so let's really see how Nesbitt does. Yeah. a lot of the strawberry sodas I've tasted. There is still, it is still quite a bit sweet though. Um, Nesbitt seems to have that thing where it's really fizzy when you take your first drink. 
kind of stays on your tongue. That's just with the texture of it. But the taste it to me like most strawberries, so does except for the fact that it wasn't as sweet, so maybe it was a tiny bit more real, yeah. but not a whole lot more. The strawberry taste in this felt very authentic. Uh, I definitely felt like, hey, this soda could have just been homemade with actual strawberries. Like, you, you have some of those uh, strawberry lemonades or whatever that may have chunks of strawberry in them, and then that would add to the taste of strawberry even more. It sort of felt like that, so it felt like very true to the strawberry taste. I think it's potential that strawberries could have been used in this, and uh, I thought it, it was pretty good. And um, I uh, I thought it was a great strawberry. So I, I'm with Tim there. I've never actually really liked a lot of strawberry sodas. It's always been eh, too I sweet. Have. But basically, I like this one. It's uh, yeah, it's actually it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. My final rating, I'm gonna give this one actually a nine out of ten. Pretty good strawberry. Sorry. Tim's a little tired. Seven point five out of ten. Okay. Not that tired. Um, uh, if it's on strawberries, special on strawberry soda specifically, it is the best strawberry soda I've had. But uh, sodas in general, I'd probably give it the best. Like, two. <laughs> I'm not trying to be an asshole, okay, guys. <laughs> so guys, I I have to tell you something. I've never ever had a peach soda in my life. This will be my first try. Um, let's see if I can actually open this one. Wow, that. Guys, okay, so here's peach. It's a nice pink color. So, let's see here. It looks good, actually. It, it smells, it smells like peach, you know. Oh, that's a good oh, sign. <laughs> oh my, oh my god, that smells like, a lot like peach. That, that smells delicious. Oh yeah, Tim takes the first drink. Don't tell what you, and don't tell what you think of it until after the drink. So here's my first try of a peach soda. So, this one wasn't nearly as fizzy as the other ones. Been. It was a good amount of this though. Um, it tasted a lot like real peaches, and there's kind of like two aftertastes. There's the original aftertaste, which, you, which is like that for peach, and the peach, and you get that. And then right after that, it's sort of, and it's like a popsicle. So it tastes like you just ate a peach popsicle, except not quite as cold. Yeah, um, but I, I liked it. it I've, I, I love peaches, um, especially, I like have bowls of them sometimes at my grandma's house and then there's the juice and I slurp up the juice and it's delicious. Nostalgia aside, um, it tasted very much like peaches, it, I, oh, I really don't know what else I can say to that except they got it right, they turned it into a soda and it's not too fizzy but it's pretty good. I, uh, so as I said, I've never tried peach soda before. I thought it was pretty darn well made. I mean, it tastes a lot like peach. It smells a lot like peach. I got the after taste that tips of those like popsicle. And I gotta say, it, I, I mean, as much as I didn't mind the orange flavored soda, I'm wondering why is Ned's Fitz known for its orange soda when its other flavors are so much more better. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that's my thought. I, I think that it should be more known for its peach or strawberry. Orange is a okay flavor. Orange is a common flavor in soda. I think people that have wanted to be uniquely known for something, for something special, the peach is the one they should be trying to get out there a little more. Yeah, and I thought the peach was also better than the strawberry flavored one. I'm gonna give it a 9.5, actually. I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. I'm giving it an 8.5. Nesbitt's soda was pretty enjoyable to all of us as we gave it pretty positive ratings. Even though we didn't love the orange soda, we didn't hate it. We all liked the strawberry, and peach was no doubt all of our favorites. Nesby is a classic soda with a sweet and rich fruit flavor. The old style soda is sadly not as popular as it used to be in its younger years, but the soda can still be enjoyed around the country in either plastic bottle version, or my personal favorite, it's glass bottled sugar version from the Orca Beverage Company. As the Orca Beverage Company brings you back to the past with glass bottled sugar sodas, you can also enjoy stuff from the past from a song about Nesbitt. As in 1987, the alternative band Negative Land released a song called Nesbitt's Lime Soda Song, about a man mourning the loss of his last bottle of Nesbitt Lime Soda, as he had to throw it away because a bee flew into the bottle. This song is from the album Escape From Noise. We spent a lovely summer Big motor home with a shit.
shower and TV. We was camping and having a great time watching Roll Call on today. Till a bee flew into the Nesbitt's lime soda and we had to throw it away. Nesbitt's a great soda that's been enjoyed for many years, and you should enjoy it too. Definitely try the soda if you can get your hands on it and enjoy its sweet, fruity flavors. This is Tyler from the Big Overview. Please join me next time when I drink 